It is a song written by a woman who lived most of her life in poverty. Abandoned by her mother as a child, at the age of 16, she sang in bars for passing sailors on the island of Sao Vicente. The sole woman in a band of men, Cesaria Evora performed barefoot, cigarette in hand, only attaining fame after recording her first album at the age of 47. She sang about longing, home, abandonment, and this feeling of not belonging. It's called Morna, a musical genre taught in schools in Cape Verde and celebrated across the world. So When I sing Morna, I think of my aunt living in Portugal. We used to sing together. I can't explain it, but when I am singing, I miss and remember her at the same time. Morna can do this, bring out love and nostalgia. Morna is more than a voice, but a sound that awakens the soul, explains instrument maker Anisito Gomez, triggered by what is called a cavaquinho, otherwise known as a weeping guitar. There are emotions that the voice alone cannot trigger. This guitar will bring out the feelings hidden or buried inside, emotions that don't have words and yet that can make you weep. This guitar is the echo of the soul. While Cesare Avora was buried on the island of Sao Vicente, her music traveled the world, carried by generations of Cape Verdeans who left their homeland, fleeing droughts and famine, in search for a better life. Now there are more of them living abroad on the east coast of the United States and in Portugal than on the islands of Cape Verde. Most Cape Verdeans long to return home, but rarely do. They are buried abroad, away from their loved ones. And it's this feeling known here as saudade, or sorrow, that's transmitted from generations to generations and never dies. It is the inspiration of our poets, the princess of our serenade. Come tell me your name, they sing. Let's unite our voices so we can sing Morna. A message from a small island in the Atlantic to all of those suffering or alone. You are not forgotten. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Mindelo, Sao Vicente.